on getaway day here Saturday. The 1-0 pitch, line towards short, caught by Munden. He'll step on second, and the inning is over on the double play. 2-2 swing and a miss, strike three. Good slider there from Walter and Ake. The first strikeout victim of Corey Walter, and the inning is over with the walk as well. Pizek's first pitch swung on, rip right at Constantini. He clubs it, fires across, double play. Another double play by the Mountaineer defense on a hard hit line drive by Noisy and a nice play by Constantini. And the inning is over. Second and third, one away. 4 nothing. OU top of six. The 0-1 swung on, hit in the air to left. Will the wind carry that one out of here? Going back, going back, it is gone! Cam O'Brien turns on a Jacob Evans off-speed offering, and that ball carries out of Eldale Mitchell Park. A three-run blast by O'Brien, just what the doctor ordered. His second of the year It's now 4-3 Oklahoma. Boyd at third, Fleming at first, one down. The first pitch, ground ball back up the middle, through there into center field for a base hit. Boyd will come down the line to score, and Jacob Rice with an RBI single up the middle, his third hit of the afternoon, and we've got a tie ball game, folks, at four here in the seventh. We are tied at four, top of the seventh. First pitch, ground ball, left side, into left field for a base hit. They're waving Fleming around third. Here's the throw, cut off. Now they throw to second. They've got Rice in a rundown between second and third, and they'll tag him out, Noisy will. And the Mountaineers have their first lead of the day. They lead 5-4 here in the seventh. Swung on, hit in the air to center field. That's in the deepest part of the ballpark. Going back, going back, and it's off the wall. Johnson will round third. He will score. Kramer puts on the brakes at second. And the right call there made by Randy Mazie, Jackson Kramer, a two out pitch hit RBI double. And now the Mountaineers have extended their lead to six to four here in the seventh. A little tease that come with here. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Was that the split finger again? Absolutely. My, oh my, that thing fell right off the table. Constantini is 0 for three. The 0 1 pitch. That ball swung on. Drilled to deep left field. Haley going back. He looks up. It's out of here. Michael Constantini leaves the yard. A leadoff solo home run by the senior third baseman and a huge insurance run for West Virginia. They lead 7 to 4. Boy, another great swing by a Mountaineer hitter, an unlikely candidate to hit a ball out of the ballpark, but Michael Constantini, who has played so well as of late, got all of that one. The 1-1 pitch, ground ball to second, could be two. Fleming to second for one, on to first, in time, double play. Seven to four, West Virginia on top of Oklahoma. Here's Carley's 1-2 pitch, swing and a miss, he went through the zone, yes he did. Sean Carley walks the leadoff man, but calmly retires the next two hitters, a double play, and then strikes out Haley to end the inning. We head to the ninth, O'Brien from the left side. The 1-0 pitch, swung on, hit well in the air to left field, going back towards the wall, it's off the wall. Sims will round third, he will score, and Fox, as the left fielder, Haley can't handle the ball. Fox is waved home all the way from first. Two runs will score on another extra base hit by Cam O'Brien and added insurance for Sean Carley. The Mountaineers now lead nine to four in the nine. Two outs, check of the runners. Here's the pitch from Carly, chopped towards third, Constantini gloves it, steps on the bag, and Q Country Roads, Mountaineer Nation, down 4 nothing early in this game. West Virginia comes from behind, and they win a series on the road in Big 12 Conference play, beating Oklahoma today by the final of 9-5. to